Uh, welcome to the Ask the Expert. Today, we are very excited to be, uh, have um, Dr. Neil McKenna hosting Ask the Expert. He's a social professor at Baylor College of Medicine, and he's a member of the Dan L. Duncan Comprehensive Cancer Center at Baylor College of Medicine. He is the, uh, the brains uh, behind the Signaling Pathways Project. It's really an integrated omics knowledge base for cellular signaling pathways, and he started this um, initiative and, and uh, group um, himself. And then, um, you know, in a collaboration with his group, um, you know, the D challenge was, you know, meant to offer data sets to the scientific community so that they could kind of mine these sets and come out with some novel hypotheses. And uh, Signaling Pathways was uh, part of this, and they actually mined some PBMCs and came out with some really amazing data. So we're very excited to have him talk about the transcriptional regulatory networks of circulating immune cells and type 1 diabetes, a community knowledge base. And welcome, Neil. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so thank you, Monica. So hopefully um, you can see my slides. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I'll just I'll just you know uh, get right in here since we only have about uh, thirty minutes here. Great. So you know at this point there is a kind of a um, you know a substantial you know, amount of of, of you know, evidence that 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 indicates that uh, you know aberrant function of um, circulating the immune cells or uh, CICs uh, 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 you know, uh, plays you know an important role in uh, in uh, in in uh, type one you know with diabetes or uh, T one D, mm -hmm. and these you know, uh, you know uh, CICs include you know, uh, macrophages and um, um, monocytes, for example, and then you know, you know uh, various you know, uh, subsets of of uh, T you know uh, lymphocytes that include uh, you know natural. Uh, Killer cells, you know, regulatory, uh, you know, T cells, and and uh, you know, and and you know, others, and you know, signaling, you know, uh, systems, you know, regulating uh, uh, gene, you know, uh, you know, expression in you know, like normal, you know, CIC, you know, like physiology, and in T one D, really uh, is a kind of a, a you know, a, a, um, a complex you know, network of you know, nodes that include you know, membrane and um, 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 nuclear receptors, enzymes, uh, uh, transcription factors, and you know, other you know, nodes. And you know, at this point, there has been a lot of research you know, by this T1D you know, research of our community, which has implicated you know, various you know, immune cell you know, signaling systems in that T1D, uh, with which many of you are you know, no doubt uh, you know uh, familiar, such as you know, interferon and 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 you know interleukin you know, uh, signaling. And these, but these you know, advances notwithstanding, there is a lot of interest in you know in you know, identifying uh, um, uh, you know novel you know, signaling systems that actually you know, uh, play a role in T one D. And the T one D research community has been active in you know, you know uh, pu publishing studies that involve you know CIC. You know, expression um, uh, of profiling in uh, T1D. You, you know, just a few of which are you know, sh 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 shown here. And although these you know, you know data sets have been of you know immense you know, of, of, you know of value individually, the insights into the role of the CIC signaling you know this you know uh, this function in uh, T1D uh, that might uh, result from their, you know, you know meta analysis you know, as a whole uh, has been up to now, you know, uh, largely unexplored. 
And so we at the uh, you know, sailing um, uh, pathways uh, project or SPP, as um, um, Monica mentioned, we are interested in kind of organizing you know, existing archived omics um, resources with the goal of helping research. We use them to identify evidence for you know, signaling nodes or signaling pathways that are operating in their uh, specific you know, system of, 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 you know, interest. And so, um, as Monica also mentioned, in an effort to kind of uh, uh, promote the uh, reuse of existing, you know, C1D, you know, uh, uh, you know data sets as part of last year's, you know, D challenge, which was, you know, organized by the, you know, super science and by our you know, funding organization, uh, um, uh, you know, DKNet, we uh, you know, annotated, we you know, identified and annotated a, a total of you know, 17 archived you know, expression array and uh, you know, RNA seq you know, data sets that looked at you know, you know, uh, gene expression in, you know, at, in you know, at CICs uh, you know, uh, between individuals with a T1D and, and also healthy you know, individuals. And the first step was to use a kind of a standard pipeline you know, uh, you know, that we use that kind of organizes the kind of underlying uh, the underlying uh, the um, uh, um, uh, you know and numbers into a sort of uh, uh, um, you know a differential expression you know, matrix over all of the you know, individual you know, experiments. Uh, and since many of the kind of archive studies were actually you know, expression arrays, uh, we provided uh, you know a differential expression at the level of, of the feature. And what I mean uh, by this is in the case of the you know expression arrays that that uh, refers to a specific you know um, uh, set with, um, um, which is annotated to a specific. Gene, and in the case of you know, of, you know archived, you know, um, you know what, um, uh, is it, sorry, uh, um, you know, RNA seq, you know, uh, experiments, that is a uh, unique you know, uh, gene level you know, annotation. And one thing I also wanted to point out here on the left is you know is you know SPP's really sort of you know, detailed you know, functional you know, annotation, in which a specific you know a gene or a a uh, protein is mapped to a cell that's uh, you know signaling those you know uh, you know uh, uh, category, you know uh, 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 class and 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 family, and so you know, it's much richer you know experience you know for the user and we feel uh, that is usually uh, um at, you know encountered in a kind of open science you know a resource. And so at this point, we want to kind of analyze over all of these you know, individual experiments, was to see if we could arrive at some sort of uh, consensus with respect to uh, you know differential uh, expression of a given you know gene in you know it's, uh, uh, T1D versus uh, uh, versus you know normal healthy you know, CICs. And in order to uh, do this, we wanted to apply our uh, Tensile you know, algorithm, which ranks you know uh, genes according to the frequency of their you know differential expression, uh, you know, uh, over you know, independent but but you know related you know experiments. Uh, a thorny issue, however, was the uh, the uh, conflict, you know, uh, between you know, different you know uh, uh, you know features. For a specific you know, gene over the kind of individual uh, you know experiments, and as you can see here in this uh, screenshot of one of the you know supplementary files from the I Science paper, you can see uh, in, uh, you know, for example here uh, in the case of you know CCL three up L one, you can see that you know, uh, uh, you know uh, some. Uh, studies uh, you know, reported you know, upregulation of the CCL three L one, whereas other studies reported you know, downregulation. And you know this is the case for you know, a bunch of other you know, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, features also. 
And while a kind of explanation for this is, you know, is, you know, out of the scope, you know, of this particular study, I can kind of you know, speculate that this, that this kind of, kind of uh, conflicting, you know, expression patterns, you know, uh, you know uh, are due you know, to the kind of underlying heterogeneity and genetic of the uh, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, data sets such that you know uh, some looked at you know expression profiling in all you know, CICs, whereas you know others looked at you know in a subset. And then you know, uh, there were other you know, variables um, you, uh, you know, such as the kind of age of the you know individuals, the kind of age of of the onset and you know, and your other you know, uh, you know, other you know uh, issues. And so you know, at this point, it was obvious that our kind of standard you know, analysis on its own uh, wasn't wasn't really um, going to help us resolve these these kind of kind of you know, intricate. Uh, sort of the uh, patterns of of the you know, expression over the kind of individual uh, studies, and so we thought about this uh, for a while, and we, and we actually uh, uh, came up with a way in which we use the 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 uh, fit the uh, feature level the, like numbers to kind of you know adapt you know a uh, 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 cons- uh, sense of your know, analysis. And we did this uh, using you know, an approach that we refer to as consensus feature level you know, enrichment uh, or you know, C flea. And using you know, C flea, we identified you know, two sets of uh, g- genes, uh, those whose uh, mapped you know, features were you know, enriched among features that were only you know, induced over all of the, the, the you know, underlying you know, experiments. And we, uh, and we uh, uh, refer to these as you know exclusively you know a type one you know a, a, you know a diabetes induced enriched in ET one you know uh, DIEs, and there was you know, another you know, subset whose map features were you know, significantly enriched among features that were only and uh, repressed over the the you know, uh, the individual experiments. And we refer to these as exclusively you know, uh, type one, you know, diabetes repressed enriched uh, genes. And so, you know, at this point, we have these, we have these you know, two sets of, 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 of you know, uh, genes. And we wanted to see um, you know, how well you know, our kind of safely analysis uh, 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 perform with respect to you know independent uh, 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 benchmarks, and one of the you know our approaches that we used was using a a, you know, a data set from the the uh, you know abate uh, and the uh, CD3 uh, trial, and uh, you know in this case we you know anticipated that you know, ET1 that F, you know FR kind of C3 C3 you know, analysis were actually valid that the ET1 you know, at DREs would be you know upregulated you know, in response to you know, anti uh, CD3 therapy, and that ET1 you know, DIEs would be um, 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 you know downregulated. And indeed, you know, uh, this is what we saw. You know, as you can see here, we're seeing you know, a very strong you know, enrichment of the most highly ranked ET1 you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, the DRE. Uh, you know, among uh, you know uh, genes that were induced in these these you know, anti uh, you know CD three um, 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 resp- uh, responders, and we next wanted you know uh, you know, you know uh, give our users you know, the ability to formulate hypotheses you know are to uh, put to uh, formulate hypotheses around the signaling nodes that are regulating ET1 like uh, DIEs and ET1 uh, you know DRE in CIP and by inference might have you know, some role in that C1D. And in order to, uh, in order to do this we use a uh, a uh, platform we refer to as high uh, component uh, 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 Functional you know, uh, target you know, intersection analysis, and this will identify um, what uh, um, uh, what we saw is 
and we have gone out into the archive omics uh omics field and data sets and we've looked at like a bunch of 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 you know like different uh uh you know, independent uh, uh you know experiments and we have identified uh you know uh you know, a target uh sort of high confidence uh maybe you know a target for a a uh, bunch of different you know experiment and we then uh we then uh Take these uh, you know, uh, libraries and we then kind of you know, uh, 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 use these against, uh, you know, a deep upset, you know, in this case, ET1, you know, as CREs and ET1, you know, as uh, CI. And we then, uh, you know, what we get from that are you know, uh, what we refer to as kind of you know, functional regulatory, you know, uh, you know, for these, you know. These you know like signaling and, and you know nodes, and uh, using this you know uh, we identified in the of nodes those used the high of confidence as target as uh, significant intersections ET one uh, um, in DREs. Uh, these were uh, if, excuse me, this is you know ET one as well, uh, you know DRE nodes. And then those yeah, HTTP has you know, significant uh, intersections with ET1 uh, in DIEs, and these were the ET1 in you know, DIE um, um, nodes. So, you know, in order for our results to be the audience you know, possible, we uh, took STP, uh, we our partners with the, uh, the uh, you know, the, 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 uh, you know, uh, uh, group, uh, to use the FD. And this was the uh, the you know developed a widely used you know a site of state you know, a platform and NDX or sorry NDX uh, is their new uh, is relatively new um, um, resource you know, available to kind of web based you know, a, a version of of you know a site of state. And so this uh, figure you know, from the paper you know, shows you know part of the uh, ET one uh, you know DRE uh, network. Uh, it, you know, expect on a kind of individual you know, ET1 you know, DRE you know, and come up this window that links out you know, uh, you know, to a host of kind of the outside independent resources that all you know, provide useful and from uh, you, you know, relevant information on that uh, page. Yeah, um, can I just ask one question? So this sure. this federated cloud based web resource. Right, maximizes access to the T1D regulatory networks by the research community. So this resource is available, right, to the community now. Yes, this is why. Yes, this is this is openly openly you know, available. Yes. Yeah, which make which is so amazing because you know you guys built this thing, and now you're offering it to you know the research community for people to come in and look through their various lenses at these data. And pull things out. I think that's just an amazing, um, you know, gift basically to the T1D research community. So thank you very much. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, you, you know, as you say, I mean, we have used our own way of, of, of kind of, you know, you know about the data, but then others, you know, you, you know, um, you know um, may have you know, their own way of, of kind of, you know, looking at it. So yeah. Um, you know, all the work you know what we do at, at you know, SDT and it's also the case you know and I think so openly uh, you know acts, acts great that's that's really awesome right in line with the opening of science the new frontier <laughs> okay sorry to interrupt sure. and so the uh, you know what ultimate you know, uh, goal of our um, of our uh, um, research you know, is, uh, is to allow me to form a you know, novel hypothesis on you know, CIC extremely as uh, uh, systems that are involved in uh, C1D. And you know, in the few minutes we have left, I'm um, only going to see one of these, uh, you know, these, you know, you know, these you know, use cases, but you can read uh, the others you know, in the associated you know, article. So when we looked at the you know, ET1 that you had, uh, you, uh, you know, and DREs, uh, when we kind of, you know, uh, you know, interlace them with a couple of recent, you know, large scale, you know, single cell RNA seq, uh, you know, immune cell, you know, uh, immune cell you know, expression resources, 
we were interested to see that a subset of these ET1 you know, DREs had a strong you know, NK cell uh, in the signature. Right? And we referred to these as you know, ET1 you know, DRE uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, NKs. And uh, consistently with this, when we run the HTD you know, you know, you know, intersection uh, um, analysis on these ET1 you had, you, you had DRE uh, NKs, we you know, identified footprints for a, a bunch of different nodes that that already have you know, historically well known roles in you know, NK cells, and so this was very and you know, very you know, and took uh, very uh, and 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 encouraging you know, for us. And using you know other you know, archives. Um, 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 you know, uh, data sets, we were able to, you know, uh, go to an even finer level of you know, uh, resolution. And we sh uh, we have shown that the, the uh, ET1 you know, with DRE and Ks were enriched for uh, genes that are uh, preferentially you know, expressed in a, 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 a subset of you know, NK cells. And these are referred to as you know, CD56, you know, uh, you you uh the you uh, dim uh CD thirty seven uh 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 plus, and this was interesting because uh you know at reduced levels of you know CD uh you know fifty seven um uh, uh plus NK cells have been shown to be uh, uh have been shown to be um you know involved with a host of of you uh, of you know different um. Um, um, you know, autoimmune, uh, you know, um, 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 diseases, and we had earlier uh, shown that ET1 you know, DREs were you know, enriched among you know, uh, uh, among uh, genes that were you know, induced in response to uh, you know, anti you know, like CD3 uh, therapy. And what was really interesting was when we kind of you know, uh, performed the same you know, analysis using only this you know, CD56 you know, DIM, uh, CD57 uh, uh, plus NK you know, subset of these you know, ET1 uh, uh, you know, DREs, this you know, enrichment went up over a three fold. And this indicated that, that you know, a restoration of this you know, CD56 uh, you know, uh, you know, DIM, you know, CD57, uh, 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 NKL, you know, signature is highly relevant to the, um, 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 resolution of that C1D, you know, in response to anti-CD3 you know, uh, therapy. Yeah, so you're kind of like, you know, you're kind of tapping there on the mechanism, right, uh, behind how teplizumab is, um, working. And, um, yes, exactly. Yeah, so that is that's huge. I mean, this is just really opening the door for more expl exploration. Right, and um, yeah, there's one more um, really you know, interesting, you know, about searching web that we find, and that was, um, and, and you know, what this is kind of kind of you know, unexpected. This this just kind of you know uh, came up, you know, right as we were thinking you know, things up. So, you know, multi therapy syndrome in, in uh, children, uh, which is known as you know, MISSD, is this to you know, uh, 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 publication of, you know, at SARS of COVID 2 you know, infection. Um, there, but there isn't really. Me. Yeah, that's really uh, interesting because it's saying like patients with pre they're kind of like uh, trying to figure out whether it's, you know, this MISC-C or MISC is distinct from Kawasaki um, or whether they're like, a, you know, or whether MISC-C is a continuum of the same <clears throat> clinical syndrome of Kawasaki. That is really interesting. Right. And most, most of the studies on MISC up to now have been that being you know, uh, uh, clinical uh, level, and we can really multiply, you know, I mean, what's actually happening on a kind of, kind of mechanistic level. And so, 
Um, as we, you know, like I mentioned, as we were kind of finishing up this um, uh, this work, we saw this this article uh, that appeared in in uh, in uh, in in, in uh, Nature uh, columns, uh, which showed that a nine eight, you know, signature that was highly expressed in in you know, as, you know at CD fifty six you know den of CD fifty seven club and K cells was consistently repressed in the circulating and cell of the MISD you know, subjects. Wow. And um, when we looked at the signature signature posting, we noticed that all of them. Were actually highly ranked, yeah, ET1, you know, with DRE, you know, and case. And what was even more interesting was like four of, of, of the nine were actually ET1, you know, DRE, e and case that were that were you know, significantly uh, you know, induced in response to you know, anti you know, CD3 uh, therapy. Yeah, wow. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really, okay. really. Okay. This is amazing that you guys really tapped into this. Yeah. And this is all you know, existing you know, archived, archived you know, uh, the, um, you know, data sets. Yes. And so on the basis of this, we hypothesized you know, one that, that you know, type on you know, diabetes and MNC have a common NK specific mechanism, you know, number one. And number two, that anti CD3 therapy may be, may actually be you know uh, uh, you know useful in a subset of of your MISC uh, you know patients, and so we were very you know uh, you know encouraged you know, uh, you know, uh, to see that this article you know, uh, that appeared while while ours was in in our uh, 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 actually you know identified the you know, P1D as a Component of the MISC. And even though the authors you know, didn't kind of speculate as to the underlying you know, cause, I hope uh, you know, I have you know, I have evidence here uh, you know, you know, a warning of at least one you know, phenomenon that might you know, underlie the link. So, uh, 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 and that is to say that you know archived you know the FRA and the RAC um um of the type one you know uh you know data set have got a lot of you know value for kind of the unit and you know number two uh one thing that I wanted to you know to say is that you is that you know data set heterogeneity is not necessarily uh you know an impediment. To you know, another and us can actually you know enhance it. And what do I mean by that? Well, when we use a regular uh, analysis on the you know, data set, um, it didn't the results you know, uh, you know it didn't really kind of you know, validate well you know, like, you know, uh, you know, against our kind of independent you know uh, benchmarks in, such as that you know, anti you know, TD3 you know, experiment. And you know, it was only when we looked at these at these you know underlying you know, fit, fit, uh, you know, feature level you know, uh, uh, you know numbers that we were able to resolve the you know ET1 uh, you know DREs and the ET1 you know DIEs, which as I've uh, you know shown here, as well as more you know you know, uh, you know extensively in our kind of article, these actually you know, validate well against against independent you know uh, uh, but that. Uh, uh, benchmarks, and so I'll just um, with that I'd like to thank you know a, a bunch of different people. Uh, Scott, who's my kind of you know, a long time fr friend and and uh, 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 collaborator, um, you know Rudy at, at at you know Index, you know at, um, um, at, at DKNet who you know, are not hosting you know, SPP, so you know, SPP would. Uh, be, um, um, you know, literally wouldn't uh, wouldn't you know, exist uh, you know, um, um, without their help. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, you know everybody at uh, the Street Science, you know, Monica, you know, and and everybody else. Uh, I'd like to thank our you know, funding you know, sources, and then you know, uh, finally, you know, last you know, 
uh, well, but not least, you know, um, I'd like to thank all of the investigators, the you know investigators who actually archived their uh, their you know, data sets for reuse. Um, you know, um, aside from if this one would you know another we we would you know nothing possible. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. This is fantastic work. It's really in, innovative and interesting and, you know, really kind of uh, asks, um, you know, opens the door to ask many more questions. I'd like to see if anyone in the audience would like to ask a question either through the chat or you feel free to unmute yourself or raise your hand, whatever you'd like. Um, I guess I would say, um, I wonder, you know, if, um, anyone from the teplizumab studies has reached out to you yet uh, to discuss this? Um, that's a good point. I, I mean, I guess, you know, you know um, they haven't you know, um, uh, reached out, but um, you're right. It, it may be worth, you know, uh, bringing you, uh, you know, uh, to their attention, the uh, potential link, you know, uh, between, you know, uh, T1D and, you know, and, you know, MISB. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, in fact, I'm, after we get off this, I'm going to um, create an email to make that happen. So um, I think, um, yeah, I think that's a, that would be a great conversation <clears throat> to have, as well as um, just really thinking carefully about the exhausted cells and, you know, what that might mean you know, why you know, they're going offline basically. And um, what are some strategies to bring them back online? Not just to plizumab, but others, because we know this is a very heterogeneous disease and some mm -hmm. might, you know, not want to talk about it, but it, it looks very endotypal. So, so there may be many different um, manifestations or, you know, representations of what's happening there on the genetic level. And I, ha I have to say, this also kind of begs the question um, about a way to track uh, people's progression during the prodrome to diagnosis, right? So if you are able to, to like, you know, have these signatures in the PBMCs and, you know, well-defined in, you know, and, and further define them, um, then could you not, you know, take these as, you know, almost like biomarkers to monitor the progression of the disease? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes, you know, I, you know, I think that's that's, you know, that's, you know, entirely possible. Yes. Yeah. So there it is. This is a treasure trove. So um, I can't wait to see what uh, Signal Your Pathways Project does next. And um, thanks again to Dr. Neil McKenna. Fantastic um, work and really a great, um, I see some clapping in the audience as well. Um, <laughs> just a great new approach. And I hope everyone um, you know, who's interested reaches out to you at Signaling Pathways Project and dives into the data. Well, you know, thank you, Monica. And you know, thank you for all the work you know, that you do with the, the, uh, the, you know, the you know, super thing. Right back at you. You're you're doing the heavy lifting. Thank you, Neil.